Now the topic is physical properties of soil. Physical properties of soil includes color, structure, structure, porosity, density, consistence, temperature, and air. Soil color. Soil color indicates the composition of soil. Soil color is produced by the mineral present in the soil and the organic matter present in the soil. Soil color exhibits a wide range of color. It may include red color, yellow color, brown color, blackish, so on. Four factors influence the color of the soil. First one is the minerals or the minerals content of the soil. Second one is the organic matter content of the soil. Next is nature of abundance of iron. And last one is moisture content of the soil. Okay, soil color are described by, technically described by Munsell soil chart. Munsell soil, soil chart proposed by the Albert Munsell in 1933, he proposed this color chart um, and under the guidance of United Nations, United States uh, Development Department of Agriculture. It's a three-dimensional model and through this three-dimensional model, he identified how to identify specific type of soil on the basis of color, brightness and the, in darkness. There are three types of scale that is three dimensional. Munsell scale system or the color order system is based on the three dimensional models. It includes three things hue, color, and chrome. Hue includes the color, value includes the brightness and the darkness, and chroma includes the, uh, the strength that is the strength or paleness. Okay. Uh, this is the picture of Munsell color ordered system. Normally, soil color identified with the help of uh, Munsell color system ordered cards. This is three dimensional. This is vertical axis for the value that is the strength of the color. And those are the this ring. This this is the ring. It indicates the hue. Here is the color, just like a red, green blue purple and yellow and this one this one this is one to ten range is one to ten this is the chrome chrome is the paleness or the strength of the color on the basis of three this three dimensional model three dimensional munson's colored system order or munson cut student or researcher can identify the soil type with the help of the color you can identify the soil types in naked eyes with the help of Munchen color order system. Now come to the second one that is the soil structure. Soil structure is the relative proportion of the soil particles of various sizes such as sand, silt and clay. Actually soil structure normally described through the ternary diagram and the soil structure of sand, silt, and clay. This combination described with the help of percentage value. It's a proportional or relative proportion of the particles of sand, silt, and clay. This is a ternary diagram here. Sand, silt, and clay normally describe in percentage all ranges from 0 to 100%. And soil structure is very important attributes in soil or soil characters. Through the field method, through the touching by the touching of the soil in your fingers, you can tip of the fingers, student or researcher can identify the soil method, uh, soil structure. Mm, it helps the amount it can identify and helps to identify the water holding capacity of soil the rate of water movement or the rate of seepage within the soil and it will also helps to how how the rate of fertility uh, it will determine the nature and rate of the fertility soil structure is very important attributes it is nothing but the relative percentage of sand silt and clay 
Normally, it is defined by or described with the help of percentage and soil ternary diagram helps to, helps to identify the particular soil structure. That is an uh, example of soil structure is a clay, like sandy loam, clay loam, silt. Those are the example of soil structure. And it has very important, uh, very important, it is, it has, uh, it has positive aspect uh, in water holding capacity. It will determine the soil fertility. It, 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 it the soil structure also determines the uh, soil fertility, water movement within the soil and the water holding capacity of the soil. Then come to the point of soil structure. Uh, normally, soil structure is the arrangement of soil particles. Okay, this is it is the arrangement of sand, silt, and clay. Okay, and this arrangement pattern provides a looks. It's maybe a blocky, maybe looks like a plate, maybe looks like a prism. That shape, that arrangement of the soil particles. Particles are the sand, silt, and clay. This particle arranged in a particular manner and provides a shape that is called the soil structure. Okay. The term soil structure is used in reference to the size of the individual soil particles, but when the arrangement of particles is considered in the term of is used. Soil structure described by the arrangement. Okay. Uh, uh, soils uh, in right hand side, those are the typical example of soil structure. It may be blocky, maybe plate like that is called platy, maybe prism like that is called prism, prismatic that is just like a column that is called columnar, so on. And soil structure provides, uh, soil structure has an impact on the cultivation, tillage method, rainfall effectiveness, soil erosion, and freezing and thawing process of the soil. So, soil structure is a very important uh, physical attributes of the soil. Okay. And another important thing is that it is important, soil structure is very important to allow the water and air into the soil which is the which plays a vital role in the plant growth okay the amount of air and amount of water or uh, water holding capacity of the soil uh, or soil which are very vital to, for the plant growth is determined by the soil structure okay and now come to the point of soil porosity okay go through this picture of soil this is the conventional combination of soils, okay? Uh, this is the conventional combination of soil. This, uh, there are four attributes of soil, 45% 45, 45 of soil composed by the minerals and 5% composed by the organic matter. Rather, 50% of the soil is uh, soil um, occupies by the minerals and the organic matter and remaining 40% is occupied by the air and the water. This is the conventional structure or the ideal uh, relative proportion of shearing of minerals, organic matter, water and air in the soil particles. Okay, come to the slide. We come to the soil porosity. What is the porosity? The porosity is the amount of pore or the open space between the soil particles. Porosity or the spore space refers to the volume of soil voids. That is the empty space within the soil particles that can be filled by the water and air. In last last uh, diagram, uh, there was an uh, ideal, um, there, there was a common composition, combination of ideal soil and soil. That is 50% of the soil is pore space, okay? Pore space contain groundwater, pore space contain air that contain oxygen, carbon, so on. And pore space is a, plays a very important role for the oxygen content, 
or rather the plant trans transpir evapor transpiration all these things okay this is the uh, diagram for the porosity in left hand side this is high porosity intermolecule space is uh, is more spacious and right hand side it is lower porosity it's the open space or wide space within the soil particles okay soil porosity is very uh, soil soil porosity is very closely related to the infiltration capacity of the soil level of soil saturation what soil will be saturated or not and the uh, uh, air content of the soil there is a very close and positive relationship between the soil porosity soil infiltration capacity formation of ground water table and the rate of the seepage whether the water table is saturated or not all these attributes related to the soil porosity now come to the point of soil density uh, density normally uh, basically what is the density density is basically uh, density is equal to m by v m is mass and v is the volume this is the conventional definition of any density so what is soil density soil density is a ratio of the total weight of a soil to a particular volume of the soil rather weight divided by the volume density refers to the mass per unit of volume okay soil density is normally defined as a bulk density okay and it's 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 affect the infiltration rate root depth availability and capacity of water water porosity soil porosity plant nutrient availability soil microorganism so on so come to the point of soil density it is also called as a bulk density or the dry density what is bulk density and dry density the whole whole soil it included it described in reference to the whole soil mass okay bulk density is the weight of a soil of a given volume suppose a uh, student have student have collected uh, 10 grams of soil and uh, the weight of the soil is 10 grams okay and this 10 gram soil and the volume of the 10 gram soil is a uh, uh, one a cubic meter okay one cubic centimeter then what will be the soil density what will be the bulk density or what will be the dry density then 10 grams per cubic centimeter is the soil density okay what is soil density gram per cubic uh, centimeter cubic meter or cubic feet rather bulk density is defined by the defined by the mass divided by the volume okay mass divided by the volume bulk density is a weight of a soil that is gram kilogram so on in a given volume volume may be in cubic centimeter cubic feet so on okay soil with the bulk density higher than 6.1.6 gram per cubic centimeter trend to restrict the root growth high soil density rather high soil bulk density is not favorable for the plant growth in a sandy soil are more prone to high bulk density here it's very important point sandy soil are more prone to high bulk density okay this is the uh, conventional uh, composition of soil 45 percent by the minerals and 5 percent by the organic matter that is 50 percent of the soil composes with the volume of solids and 25 percent by the air and 25 percent by the water that is 25 plus 25 rather 50 percent remaining 50 percent composes by the volume of voids total volume of the soils depends on the volume of solids plus volume of voids okay and also um, in the cases of soil density uh, out of bulk density there is an another method to calculate the density that is the particle density suppose uh, a suppose student or researcher 
collected uh, 10 grams of soil and from the 10 volume of the 10 grams of soil or uh, of a one uh, one cubic centimeter and from that soil uh, selected particular one particles and take the weight of that particles and volume of that particular particles and also identify the particle density okay now come to the consistency consistency is nothing but the plasticity that is the stickiness stickiness of the soil two important thing is very two thing is very important that is the cohesion and adhesion cohesion is the attraction of the molecules of the two water attraction of the attraction of the uh, it is an attraction of the one water molecules to the another water molecules that is the bonding between the water and water molecules and addition is the similar to the cohesion but it's the attraction of the water molecules to the non water molecules rather water it's the attraction between the water to solid molecules or the solid bond okay so what is the consistency it is the stickiness normally stickiness uh, normally depends on the water content of the soil rather moisture content of the soil stickiness uh, the knowledge of the consistency or the stickiness of the soil is important for the cultivation important for the civil engineering construction important for the uh, construction of pipeline important for the construction of tunnel or the construction of pond so on that uh, consistent gives also an indicator of soil structure it's related to the soil structure okay uh, so it's depend on the water content so water consistency or water plasticity are four types liquid state plastic state semi solid state and solid state so solid uh, soil plasticity is the strength of the soil which uh, which soil materials are held together or resist of the soil to deform or rupture okay uh, there are three kinds of three types of soil consistency uh, before going to the soil plasticity and consistency we are fam i i want to share one of my experience we are all familiar with the china clay that is white colored clay in, it is widely used uh, by the rural Bengal to making the fabric that is called in Bengali Khori Mati. This is the highly plastic, okay. High, uh, the consistency or consistence of this soil is very high. That is called as a, this uh, scientific name of this uh, soil is known as China clay or kaolinite. Kaolinite that is uh, kaolin that is uh, very much plastic or very much consistency is very high so come to the soil temperature soil temperature is a very important factor because our temperature of soil important important because it affects on the plant growth soil temperature also affects how quickly plants take up the water and nutrient clay soil are cold normally clay soil are cold in nature and wet and wet soil also cold the germination of the uh, plant in the cold in the clay soil and uh, the wet soil is uh, naturally is quite slow okay it's a temperature uh, it's a temperature scale of the soil and normally uh, normally temp uh, plant growth plant of nutrient availability of nutrient absorption of nutrient all these things depend on the soil temperature soil moisture and moisture content affects the soil temperature wet soil warms up more slowly now come to the soil air the spore space not filled totally by the water it's up to some extent it's filled by the air here I would like to mention one thing, the soil air is very important, in especially in the case of Sundarbon, there is a mangrove forest, soil respiration system, the mangrove forest respiration system of the forest or the tree, basically it depends on soil respiration system, okay, those are the, uh, those are the bi typical biosphere of the 
in between the inland and the um, inland and the ocean that is in saline ecosystem or the estuarine ecosystem soil respiratory system um, uh, or the forest respiratory system depends solely on the soil air or the air in the soil is the constant exchange within the atmosphere there is a close relationship between the soil air and soil atmosphere soil air and the atmosphere plant root and microorganism require oxygen for their metabolism and among the other gases they produce carbon dioxide as a waste product and other than also an interaction with the soil air and atmosphere evapotranspiration uh, is an example of the interaction of soil air to the interaction of atmosphere and this is this diagram in right hand side uh, describes the how the soil air is related to the atmospheric air and there is a continuation continuous circulation of soil air to the atmosphere those are the important soil properties uh, soil properties, uh, uh, physical properties of soil, and each and every physical properties of soil is uh, are interrelated. And there is also the soil, basically soil water, soil air, those attributes, soil structure, soil structure, soil density. Those physical attributes can identify in naked eyes with the help of color card with the help of digital thermometer, with the help of uh, so a ternary diagram, but those attributes similarly related to the chemical chemical properties of soil, just like a soil addition, soil pH, so on. Thank you very much.